There you go. Hey, Bag family. We're out here at Black Acres of the Gambia today, and we got a special treat for you. We're going to interview a brother that's uh, from uh, America, uh, and we want you to stay tuned and watch this video, all right? Stay tuned. All right, guys, we're back. All right, uh, like I said before, hey, we're here with a brother from America, and we want him to briefly introduce himself to you guys, and then we'll go ahead and start this talk. Hey, how you guys doing? Uh, I'm Saeed, uh, AKA The Happy Companion. Um, that's on my YouTube channel. Uh, shout out to my family and friends from Long Beach, California, from the east side. You know, Long Beach Poly Jackrabbits, what's going on? <laughs> Class of 88. <laughs> shout out to my family from Austin, Texas, all my aunts. You know, uh, all my cousins, first cousins, wanted to say hello to all you. And, you know, I'm doing a good job. Thanks for out here. You know, I'm, uh, everything's going good. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your prayers and support. I'm out here with The Bag, one of my <laughs> well, my favorite YouTube channel. I'm going to say it. I'm going to put it out there. <laughs> okay. It inspired me to, to make this move that I'm trying to make right now. All right. And I'm really uh, pleased um, to, to be, you know, part of this. And it's an honor. You know, I dreamed of this for several months, and mm -hmm. it came true for me. Right. And I really okay. appreciate you guys. Thank All you so much for right. hospitality you. and right. having me here with you All guys. Right. Well, we appreciate you for coming and stuff and giving us the opportunity to, to meet you and stuff. Because, you know, there's so many people that are subscribers, supporters, viewers, and you don't always know the personality mm -hmm. behind the camera and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so when you get a chance to meet the person in person, you kind of get to dispel, hey, well, you know, they really are like this or mm -hmm. they're not really like that. So, mm -hmm. you know, we kind of like the opportunity of meeting people and we get to see who's real and who's not and exactly. stuff. And, and uh, we just finished walking around Black Acres of the Gambia. So guys, when you do come to view, uh, when you do come to the Gambia and when you come out to Black Acres of the Gambia, we'd like to give you a personalized tour when we're available. Cause sometimes mm -hmm. we're kind of doing stuff and moving out and about and stuff. But uh, let me ask you though, uh, Saeed, what brings you to the Gambia? You know, uh, my exit plan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you brother, you know, it's, it's hard out there. I don't care how much money you make and I'm making good money and mm -hmm. making a good career. It's just, you know, dealing with the discrimination, uh, white supremacy, KKK, wow. you know, all those skinheads, mm -hmm. just that, that, that vibe out there is just it's just hostile mm -hmm. it's not really uh welcome to me anymore you know i'm mm -hmm. 50 years old uh, um i've been to africa a couple of times i was t contemplating that years ago and now you know after watching the, you guys and um the other youtubers and i'm like wow they are actually boots on the ground showing you what's going on right. mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's just day after day and then when um avery mahmoud avery and uh, brunswick and king george floyd you know, got, got yeah. lynched in uh, Minnesota. You know, that really, really, really just, you know, what well, it's time to go. Yeah, and, uh, mm -hmm. and this is my phase one. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to contemplate within 90 days, 120 days to make my final move out here. Mm -hmm. So I'm ha having some good meetings with people set up right. as far as land and mm -hmm. uh, buying property and whatnot. Right. Good, but just um, escaping that, uh, that environment is very, uh, stressful. Mm -hmm. you know, it is. Brother, it's stressful. Man. It is. It's, it it's, is. It's, 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 Too it's, stressful. It's, yeah. it's, uh, you know, uh, you, you don't know whether your life is going to be taken that's what the I'm next saying. time. That's, know, that's next, my whole point, yeah. Mm -hmm. be, because it comes to a point where you have to actually look at yourself in the mirror and say, it's time to stop playing games. I could potentially be next. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, you can you can sit and play these games where I stay in a good neighborhood or mm -hmm. I stay in a good part of the country. That's what you're doing. You're playing the game with yourself because you actually have to realize that I could be next. And they're letting you know too who's in control. They're letting you know who's with in control? what's going on with mm -hmm. COVID. They're mm -hmm. seeing how much they control everybody with what's going on with your life. You, mm -hmm. you. They put you on lockdown. You're locked down for what, uh, six, three to six months. 
it, it's really crazy now. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. what they're doing. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, bro, you said that you've been to the African continent mm -hmm. uh, before. Yeah. Would you mind sharing with us uh, some other countries that um, you've been to on the African continent and how Gambia compares to those countries? Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> About 15 years ago, I think I was, uh, approximately that time, I went to Kenya three times, uh, mm. three separate years, went to Tanzania, went to Zanzibar. Mm. Wow, so, you've been everywhere. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's very good. Uh, like I said, when I first fed, set my foot on the soil, I mean, it just, uh, it was breathtaking. It was mm -hmm. like, uh, it's red and fertile. Wow. And it's like, uh, it's like, wow. And you, in the plane, you can see all the trees and, and, and I'm like, well, I'm back home. Yeah, that's right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I felt like I was back home. Yes. And, uh, mm -hmm. and I went to Zanzibar, which is Tanzania. It's an island off Zan uh, Zanzibar, a very beautiful island, small island. And I uh, spent about three days there. And uh, it was very nice. But Kenya, most of the time, uh, went to Mombasa. Lamu, Melindi, uh, Nairobi, uh, South Sea Nairobi, mm -hmm. went to those areas, uh, three separate trips. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, and I was uh, learned Swahili, I studied Swahili in college. Say, say, yes, say. Yes, I went to Long Beach, uh, went to Long Beach uh, uh, State, Cal State Long Beach. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, that's why I learned uh, Swahili. Okay. And then I was uh, trying to, uh, sorry about my phone. Uh, I okay. thought that was an emergency, bro. <laughs> no, no, this, yeah, it's okay. like I was trying to, um, yeah. So, good, yeah. Oh, but uh, I learned Swahili. I was able to communicate. Say and, something in Swahili, bro. Anything, anything. Uh, how about a yako? That's good enough, bro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yako ni nani, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I like so, the sound yeah, of yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, I like the sound. So okay. they're trying to make Kenya. I mean, Swahili a national language for Africa. So right. Like yeah. So, I'm so with. I didn't really miss anything by right. coming here. Yeah. Comparison to the Gambia. Um, you know, the Gambia. It seemed like it's more African to me. Mm -hmm. Because uh, when it comes to the indigenous people here, the tribes and stuff, mm -hmm. you know, they're more, you know, you got the Fula, Wolof, you got Jola, you Man got Minka. Mm -hmm. You probably, I know you guys know more. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but Sarah in Kenya, Hulis. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. in, in Kenya, you have Swahili, Kukuyu, and you have uh, Maasai, but you also have uh, other nationalities there that seem to be kind of like, you know, in control. And that, and that kind of like, hurt me a little bit to mm. see that. Mm -hmm. And you, wow. you do have powerful Kenyans there too, uh, nationals there, mm -hmm. but it seemed like uh, other countries are running it. Coming in, coming taking in over, and yeah. taking over. So mm -hmm. not, kinda, the, not the Africans. Right. Not the Africans. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So it kind of hurt me mm -hmm. to see. But here uh, I see uh, in West Africa, it's less of, um, I mean, they don't have another uh, ocean that's nearby, mm -hmm. like uh, another country that's across like right. you got the Arabian con the continent, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, peninsula over across from Kenya. You got mm -hmm. all those places, so it, it kind of that's like, what that kind of yeah. influence, yeah. Yeah. right? Okay, yeah. but it's yeah. beautiful people. You know, anywhere in the continent, trust me, mm -hmm. it's nice. But you know, I, I kind of my last two and a half weeks here, uh, front of Kelly, felt at home. Uh, a lot of good Gambians uh, mm -hmm. doing my quarantine. They were okay. really nice to me. Oh yeah, uh, it was easy very food. nice. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. So you know, and I like the food a, little, a lot better mm -hmm. to a certain extent. So right. it's a, it, you know, it's 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 similar, very okay. similar, but it has different. It's a difference too. It's, mm -hmm. it's more crowded in Mombasa. Uh, oh wow. So okay. Mombasa is like a port city, mm -hmm. so everything's like come on, jump, wow. you know, hustling, bustle. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, got mm -hmm. ferries. You catching ferries here, ferries here. Moving fast. And when you hear it's like yeah, slow yeah. motion here. Slow Motion. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like this yeah. Mm -hmm. so, I'm, you I'm get to think. <laughs> think. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. Actually, I'm able to sleep eight hours a night too. Ooh, Ooh. Now, now that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. There, so in the but, states, only three, four hours sleep. I get. I remember I those days. Yes. You know, I remember those days. Yeah. So yeah. let me ask you now. Yeah. Um, you said that you were able to get into the Gambia because we were under mm. the. I thought it was we, cold. We, we were understanding that everything was on lockdown. How were you successful without divulging too much of your personal uh, business? How were you successfully able to get out of America and come to the Gambia? Well, the thing is that um, they, the airlines, they don't want you to come here. I mean, your reason shouldn't be for vacation. Because mm -hmm. who's vacationing during COVID? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's luckily that I did have uh, some land that I had purchased and mm -hmm. I had it on my phone. Mm -hmm. So I was able to show the airline representative at United Airlines in Dulles that I actually bought land here. Mm -hmm. And then she was like, okay, you're good to go and um, oh, yeah, enjoy okay. your uh, time. But Brussels airline was rough because we had to fill out a health form <laughs> to get from DC to Brussels. And even though you're not even going to go into Brussels, Brussels. Mm -hmm, you're not right. even going to Belgium at all. Right. So I thought we we're going to have to go through immigration and mm -hmm. Brussels and, and that didn't happen mm -hmm. at all. It, 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 we just got 
uh, diverted to the terminal where uh, connection terminal. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's why I went and we just spent like eight or nine hours there. And then I was able to, uh, you know, get some friendships uh, built that and we all okay. got quarantined together. Mm -hmm. But that's what saved me. Otherwise, they probably were like, no, you can't go. Wow. So, yeah. But did you know that before leaving America that you would have to have some kind of business because we no, didn't know that. No, get here. I, didn't I didn't know, know that either. Okay. Oh, I, wow. I didn't have any plans like that. I just said, you know, I'm going to, uh, I mean, I knew what I was going to do when I got here. Okay. Mm -hmm. but I didn't think that was going to be a deciding decision for a decisive, deciding decision for me to come wow. into the country to let mm -hmm. me enter. I didn't know that was going to be a, a part of it. Okay. But uh, there was also some Gambians from the U.S. I think they were born in the U.S. and they have to furnish uh, birth certificates. Wow. To so, get back to here. Get, yeah, to get here. So their families from Gambia had to scan, uh, send them emails of their birth certificates to show the airlines that wow. they were actually Gambians. Wow. So, uh, mm. But coming through Gambians <laughs> to Con uh, Banju, Banju mm -hmm. Airport, yeah. very, very easy. Mm -hmm. Really? That's very cool, easy. Man. The guys okay. that, uh, I mean, they were... Uh, that is I mean, very uh, nice there. Yeah. So if you don't mind... They were uh, nice. They were nice. Oh, okay. If you don't mind telling us, what did you actually have to go through while you was in quarantine? Quarantine, um, no, you didn't have to go through it. It took the uh, COVID test twice. Mm -hmm. so, so, but you were locked down. No, it was no. You can go and roam around the uh, hotel. Okay, but then. you yeah. can't leave the hotel. You can't leave the hotel. Okay, no, then. no, okay. you can't leave the hotel. Okay, no. so it's one hotel that they'll quarantine you in, but you can roam around it, mm -hmm. and you just take a series of tests. Yes, there's several hotels that are available that they that they use. They contract out. Okay, oh, so, okay, you know, not just that one. Not just that one. Oh, okay, okay. Because okay. they sent us to one that was kind of up, not up to par, and they luckily, <laughs> <laughs> luckily wow. my Gambian brothers and sisters, they're like, look, look, come with us, Saeed, come with us. <laughs> okay, so said, come with us. So they knew what was going on. Mm. So, yeah. okay. so it was nice, nice room. And the and one you went to was just finished. Just finished. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, had, it was okay. Mm -hmm. I keep hearing yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, and I had a. Uh, they had Wi-Fi. The other one didn't have Wi-Fi. Okay, then. So I was gotcha like, you know, okay. so it was, it was. Uh, they had three meals a day. Wow, that's um, good, then. What else did they have? Uh, I mean, they had a pool. People were swimming. And oh, stuff. really? Yeah. Wow. We were Rainy masks. season? You know, oh. you know exactly <laughs> where Mincy's. 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 Uh, Mincy's. 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 It's all good. Mincy's. 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 Yeah. It's all good. It's brand it's all new, right across from a room. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. From a room. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, I think I know what that mm -hmm. said. Yeah, yeah okay. Nice. So we was on lockdown. We wasn't in, locked in our rooms. We were able to roam around. Mm -hmm. Actually, when I was there, I took a lot of videos from the top of the roof so I can... I, did, I can't get out of here, but at least wow. let me see what I'm yeah, missing. That's so I, I, I have one question. Are they? Do they have anyone guarding the doors? Yes. Or? Okay, yeah, that's yeah. what I was really? The back door and the front gate. Wow. The front gate and back. They weren't letting anybody good. out. And I barely <laughs> got my, my head out so I can videotape uh, really? how wow. it looks from the outside Man. to the inside. Uh -huh. So, yeah, so it was... It was it was, uh, yeah, so it was really secure. He's very close to where we, we stay. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just can't remember those yeah. Families were bringing food, all kind of food, and the, the group that I was with, they were sharing it mm -hmm. with us, and uh, we was eating. Oh, and, that was good. That was nice. Yeah. But yeah. they would feed you guys, too. They would feed us, too. Mm -hmm. Yes, they would feed us, too. But, you know, it's like they got people making home cook meals. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's good. You know? That's always better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so always it better. It was good, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the staff was excellent. I, I'm, not, I'm not lying. I mean, I'm not lying, of course. Mm -hmm. But... They were very professional and, yeah. and they were very helpful. Pretty That's much good. the Gambia whole, yeah, yeah. yeah. whole wide. Smiling coast. Smiling yeah. coast. Like yeah. that. Yeah, coast, very yeah. beautiful, man. That was yes. like, uh, come eat with. Every time I'm walking, come eat. They have a big bowl. Of yes. Plate. I'm like, are you sure? Come on, come yeah, eat. Yeah, come yeah, eat. yeah. yeah. Like, I get a couple of spoons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. So, yeah. yeah. So, so let me ask you now, you've been here for a little while, right? Yeah. Um, can you briefly name a few things that you like about the Gambia and a few things that you don't particularly like about the Gambia? Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because, uh, you know, we always got people saying, I want to come to Gambia. Mm -hmm. And, bro, you the latest one in. <laughs> so, you know, hey, you're looking at it from fresh eyes because we've been here for a little while. And, mm -hmm. you know, we say, hey, we don't became accustomed to this and stuff. But you're just coming in. So, you know, what do you perceive might be some of your struggles and, you know, some things that you could just easily just float right into? Yeah, well, I like... Um the beauty of it, the scenery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is a beautiful country. The, small and beautiful. Small and beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, just uh, the warmth that the people bring. I mean, everybody's uh, friendly. They mm -hmm. they seem to, uh, you know, have a genuine interest in, in like, hey, how you doing? Uh, Salam alaikum. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, good morning. Whatever. Right. They always open up. Mm -hmm. They're approachable. Mm -hmm. And um, I haven't seen someone get angry at me, like, mm -hmm. you know, get an attitude with me or anything like that. Right. And um, I was uh, just impressed with the hospi hospitality, mm -hmm. the um, just the beauty of the people, how they look, the different tribes and, mm -hmm. and how they uh, 
how did the different languages, the different mm-hmm. languages, and I right. hear it, mm-hmm. and I'm like, wow, you know, to your ears. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's like you know, my ancestors spoke this. There you go. You know what I'm saying? It's <laughs> exactly like, man, right. I, it's not a foreign language to mm-hmm. me. You know, it's, it's it's my language too. There you mm-hmm. go. So that's why I want. You know, we speak in language that not even ours right now. That's right. On those camera, you know, and it's <laughs> like one day we will all speak it. I heard you guys want to speak it, but uh, oh yeah, there you go. Yeah. that's right, that's right. And, uh, mm-hmm. Bad things, uh, you know, a uh, lot of I saw. You know, a couple of Europeans, you know, <laughs> and I'm going to keep it real. And, got a way uh, of ruining it, don't they? They got a way of ruining it because they were uh, trying to flirt with the uh, waitress and some of the bar people. Uh, hit the. Uh, it was like a place called the uh, the Blue Kitchen. I went out there to use internet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I was using the internet because the Wi-Fi is kind of hard sometimes. Mm-hmm. So I was using it because I was trying to upload my videos and stuff. So, um, and there's, you know, some of the sisters there, you know, I guess they, they're there. You know, and uh, they were just, hey, come here. That's all drunk and acting silly. I'm like, why don't you go to your country and do that? Stuff? Yeah, that's right. Why yeah, you that's right. come here and do that? Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. And then, you know, and then I seen some. Um, disrespecting the culture. Disrespecting mm-hmm. the culture. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, we already got disrespected mm-hmm. enough, you know. When well, we, we see it, it's, it's hood it's stuff, stuff or yeah. mm-hmm. take that mess over there. Yeah. But mm-hmm. when they come to us yeah. with it, it's, we supposed to accept it. Yeah, no, wrong no, answer. No, no, wrong answer. Something. You know, mm-hmm. and. And you know, like I said, it's, uh, the economy is kind of bad, so that's the reason why some of this happened. You mm-hmm. know, and mm-hmm. it's a shame. And I think that what you guys are doing right here is is uh, is historical. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's something that's going to lead a lot of people to come here, including myself, that's right. by watching you guys hours and hours and hours. I'm mm-hmm. like, I didn't want to miss a show. Trust me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, man, I'm like, I only been missing some because of I'm here now. It's right. kind of hard for me to. To catch up oh yeah that. we understand mm-hmm. yeah, but i'm here in the flesh yeah you there you go that's what that, that's that, all makes they got. <laughs> that makes up for it all yeah, yeah. so yeah I at least you get here to, to feel it yeah exactly. see it yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. Oh, yeah very beautiful oh yeah thank yeah. you so mm-hmm. we, we we kind of walked you around a little bit before we did this video yeah. and we kind of shared some ideas with you and we've even talked about some potential collaborations of yes. future partnerships yes, and stuff so uh of course that's one of the things that we like doing for anybody that's coming to the gambia or Africa in, peer, uh, in general, guys, you know, let's get together and really practice unity. Let's mm-hmm. not just practice it in front of the camera. Let's practice it off the camera and stuff. Mm-hmm. And so uh, I've said that to say, hey, when you're coming here, have some skills that you can uh, uh, develop into a business enterprise where you can create jobs and financial wealth for yourself and also your descendants and mm-hmm. stuff and that's what we were talking about and so we kind of walked you around and showed you some things that we want to do here uh did anything stick out in your mind more than anything else as far as uh being here and how we walked around black acres of the game i think something bit me out here but, it's uh, uh you know the waterfront i mm-hmm. love that i love the idea of what you have about the hotel the hotel mm-hmm. right that's yeah. a very good spot mm-hmm. uh the fruit baskets uh, yeah just for the guests and for stuff. the guests the mm-hmm. uh the bango tree what do you call it the bumble bumb tree the boba the bo- boba boba, boba. Yeah, they, they get on me they say i don't yeah. pronounce it right but <laughs> the boba yeah. boba bubble that tree that african tree that's what i call it yeah. Yeah, i yeah, say bubble yeah it's the bubble. yeah yeah mm-hmm. just the way the um you know, your sons are out there doing yeah. it and with the other Gambians working. Mm-hmm. Not the uh, no, Rick sons or Sid sons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, so, my, I just yeah, yeah, no, We don't want to start that, right? right? Okay, no, okay right, right. then. Well, just all right. Uh, yeah, overall. And I got mm-hmm. something for you guys, too. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, I brought a lot of weight so right. you can uh, know, you know, you know, what city am I from? <laughs> uh, hey, Long hold Beach. On <laughs> hold on now. If it shoots something, do we need to cut this? <laughs> 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 well, some people may know how to, may need to learn how to do it. Oh, oh yeah. this wow. Is for, this is for Sweet Mama. Oh, sweet Juicy Mama. Thank Long you. Beach. I love oh, this. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Long Oh, beach. my God. Oh, Kiki going to be mad. <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> this was Sweet Beautiful sweet guy. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> Thank you. you know, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is beautiful. Oh, my God. Now, this is Long nice, Beach, man. California, Long right? Beach, California. Thank yes. you. AKA the LBC East Thank side, you. Know. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> now, now, since you've given us this, now, we got to give you a treat before you leave. Yes. No, you already no. gave me a treat. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. This yeah. is beautiful. This is. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Yes. You very much. Man, I wish wow. the person <laughs> made the shirts here. Yeah. 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 I didn't know what size is it. No, this is good. 
okay, yes. Okay, okay. Thank you. Yes, I love it. No Long yeah. Beach, and I got family in San Diego. If you heard of this, let me know, guys. Yeah, Long Beach. Yeah. Yes. Hang it down. Right that there, is really I don't want beautiful. Long Beach. I don't want them to see walk uh, out here in the Gambia. You know. Let's get it. Yes. All right. Yes. Now, now, uh, I want you to tell our viewers now, we're almost 32,000 going strong. We want you to tell them your channel mm -hmm. and how to contact you if they want to contact you because we want you guys to check out his channel mm -hmm. and please subscribe to the Brothers channel. So please tell them your contact information and how to subscribe to your channel. All right, my contact information is happy companion books, one word, at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. If okay. they want to contact, wanna contact right. me. Mm -hmm. And also, my uh, my YouTube channel is the Happy Companion. The and Happy you, Companion. My pictures on there with some with some uh, khaki shorts, <laughs> with some uh, chucks, and a, and a tank top mm -hmm. and, and a hat. So I got it on there, and I had to sign Long Beach. I okay. took a picture of Long Beach on there because right. you know that's why I was born and raised. Mm -hmm. And um, you can also check me out on um, on my uh, Facebook channel. Well, Facebook is uh, C E D Saeed S A E E D. Uh, French Baker, B A K E R. Because yeah. the other the other Facebook got five thousand subscribers already, so I I, I got to give you guys this one. <laughs> wow, okay then. I mean, uh, yeah, because I noticed you had more than one. Yeah, I had more than one. It's like all of a sudden, it just I have no room to add anything. I'm trying to create another one okay, if I can, yeah. but right. but I appreciate it. You know, I appreciate the okay. support and what yeah. you guys are doing. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is right. awesome. I mean, these mm -hmm. people are awesome, man. They they, right. they they straight up what you see on the camera and you see in person. Mm -hmm. This is what you're gonna get right here. Right. You know, really lovely family. And um, uh, a couple been around for many years, and mm -hmm. you know, really, really a, a role model to 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 follow. Trust thank me, you. Mm -hmm. thank this you, is thank you, heart. This yeah, is thank heart. you now, thank you. Thank and, you. and we hope that when you come back, uh, you'll see some definite changes to what we've made out here and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so we can kind of always, you know, get together and just hang out up here. Mm -hmm. And I already showed you the barbecue pit, yeah. so we can, you know, come on out here. Uh, on a weekend or something, and just I'll better rolls, guys. Yeah, better I mean, rolls. Definitely and, and, will have and, that. And, and, and just talk about mm -hmm. uh, what we want to do to change the world as African men. Mm -hmm. You know That's what I'm saying? Right. That's and right. So me and you make two, and we grab another two. It's four. Six. It's is eight. It's sixteen. It's thirty-two. And y'all see how the math goes, guys. Yeah. It, all, all, all it starts is with a few. And then it just kind of, you know, we could change the world and stuff for mm -hmm. a better place and stuff. We you know, definitely right? can so, do it, guys. Yeah, so, I see. It. So. Mm -hmm. um, so uh leave all the bs behind yep. right Just yeah get, we can do it yeah yes, now, now now we know when we coming from a, a a dangerous environment as america sometimes we're bringing some of that baggage with that us. baggage with us now but we got to be open to the idea that we have this baggage right and we kind of got to deal with it amongst ourselves so we can all develop as a group and stuff instead of you know trying to do this individual thing mm -hmm. and stuff you know it won't work and and and, and, and here is my caveat if I fail they succeed right so I've got to do everything possible to my dying breath to make sure that we win yes you understand what I'm saying mm -hmm. so if me and this brother's fighting they win exactly so before you and I fight I just said bro you go your way mm -hmm. I go my way yeah. They don't win that way. You exactly. see what I'm saying? Exactly. But as long as me and you fight and trying to take each other yes. out, yeah. they win. You yes. see what I'm saying? We don't so need that. you go your way, I go my way. Maybe one day we become mature enough where we can unite, we still win. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Because so, you're doing your thing there, I'm yeah. doing here. So, but uh, eventually we can go, come together. That's what together. I say. Yes, so we that's have what to. I say. So we mm -hmm. don't you know, uh, keep up this, right, this, 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 this crap that's going on now. So we're going to go ahead and uh, wrap this video up. Mm -hmm. uh, what would you say, because see now, you, you coming over and it's about to start raining again, so mm -hmm. we need to wrap it up a little quicker. But, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, you, you, you're you 50, and that's I was 50-ish, about like 52 when we came over here. Okay. So what would you say to brothers in America, UK, Spain, France, Germany, that are our age or younger or older, who are thinking about coming to Africa, but not a quite, but aren't quite sure about what to do? What would you say to them? Stop thinking about it. Just come. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I had a map of West Africa on my bed for the last six months, and I would uh -huh. wake up. You know, I do my prayers, whatever I do, it, and and I look at it every single day. Mm -hmm. And I was like, and I write plans. I just say, hey, I I, I actually took a DNA test. Mm -hmm. I find out all the countries, the African countries that I come from. 
And uh, I'm like, wow, I start highlighting those countries. <laughs> and, I was, and I was watching YouTube, watching his family for <laughs> every day. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, so, you know, and so you got to keep motivated and keep resilient. Mm -hmm. Don't give up. Just just say, you know what? It's just a plane ticket. Get your passport. First right. of all, get your passport. Mm -hmm. yeah. You got to have your passport. Got to. Get your passport. And if and then that's, that's, that, that's the number one thing. Because once you're ready, you don't have your passport. Mm -hmm. That's going to delay it. Exactly. Don't listen to negativity. Right. Don't listen to people saying, oh, man, what's Africa? They're like my, even some of my friends like, Africa? Uh, and then, Seriously, and, bro. And, yeah. You grew yeah, up yeah, with I grew up with them. Ain't that something? I grew up with Ain't that something? I grew up. And now they're like, oh, man. Uh, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. That's where it go. That's where it go. Yeah, I'm out of here, too. I'm out of here, too. I'm out of two, oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. thanks, brother. Show me. <laughs> man, they in your ear all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Messages on Facebook that's and stuff. Yeah. Hey, man, yeah. what's going on? Can you send me some pictures, man? You know, uh, I'm like, oh. I'm gonna do that thing too. <laughs> hey, hey, it never fails, man. Yeah. It never fails. Yeah. Yeah. Once you get out because of there, because they you know. don't know. They don't know. They don't yeah, know. That's right. That's been, right. You know, just that brainwashing. <laughs> yes, that's right. It would do it. Yep. That's right. Post traumatic slave syndrome. Exactly right. We all pull up back. Yeah. And pull up back. Yes, sir. All right, guys. So, hey, if you like this channel, or excuse me, we know you like the channel because you're viewing it and stuff. <laughs> but uh, if you like the video, give us a thumbs, thumbs up. up. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. He got it. Got All right, it. guys. Yep. Share the video with a friend, yep. comment, yep. and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And again, make sure you check out the brother's channel and subscribe, subscribe, and share the video too, mm -hmm. guys. And you know how we always end our videos with love, love peace, peace. So oh. let's try that one more time. <laughs> you, know, you, you was a little stiff though. Okay, okay, okay. But uh, you know how <laughs> you relax? Yeah, right. Okay. All right, family. You know how we always end our videos with love, love peace, peace, soul. That's Bye, bag, family. Love you guys. Video, family, guys. Bye, family.